Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, what we're going to be talking about is your maintenance plan, upgrading, and what some of the things you might run into if it's your first time uh, renewing or upgrading. So currently, let's go ahead and jump right into my computer and we can see what's going on. I have um, an older version of Darkroom Booth installed. If I go to Global Settings and click on system info I can see my maintenance plan expired uh, last year um, October 1st 2019 so if I go to darkroomsupport.com And then click on Darkroom Booth, Software Downloads and Release Notes. I can see all of the different versions that uh, Darkroom's released with the release notes saying what's been added, what's been fixed in that version. So that's helpful. Um, what I would want to do if I wanted to install the latest build that I could within my maintenance plan, I would scroll down to um, any date before October 1st of 2019 and that would be this version which is the version I have installed but in this case I'm interested in updating to the latest build and my maintenance plan is expired so it's gonna ask me to renew so I would download this latest build as of right now it's uh, 3.0936 but in the future we'll have additional versions but I would download that version and install it. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I already have it downloaded. So I'd click here and then I'm going to pretend like I'm downloading it again and then click on my downloads folder once it finishes downloading. But I have it on my desktop right here to save a little bit of time. Here we go. So I want to close Darkroom, double click on the installer. Okay, and it'll go through the install process. And um, I might get a pop-up message letting me know that my maintenance plan has expired and that I'll need to renew it. Okay, we'll click install. Okay, click yes to the user account controller. Okay, so now I've heard a noise, but I don't see anything. If I move this little box right here, I can see that there's this pop-up message. You can also click right here to bring it to the front. And it's letting me know that my maintenance plan has expired. So what I'll want to do is go ahead and, if I want to continue and install, knowing that it's going to cost me, um, in this case, $95, because it's within a year expired. Once it goes past that year, let's say it expired on September 1st of 2019, then I would be past a year expired. In that case, I'm looking at 195. So it's a good idea to upgrade now before I uh, um, the price goes up. So we'll go ahead and click yes. But if at this point you do not want to update, you're not ready to purchase, I would click no and continue, continue using the version that you're on right now and everything will continue to work and then install when you're ready. You have that a little extra money to purchase the update or renew your maintenance plan. Okay, so it has finished installing. We'll go ahead and click finish. And then now when we open Darkroom Booth, it's gonna give us that message saying that our maintenance plan has expired and it is time to purchase uh, and renew our maintenance plan. Okay, we'll click upgrade now and then it should open up PayPal
and we can uh, make our purchase. So for those who uh, weren't paying attention or just clicked uh, upgrade when that message came up and did not know that it was going to charge you and you're at this point and you you're not ready to purchase the uh, renew your maintenance plan in that case um, you would need to uninstall the software and roll back to a previous version and um, so we'll open up the software one more time and here's telling me that uh, my maintenance plan has expired and that I would need to purchase I'm gonna go ahead and click start trial continue trial and then go to my global settings and look and find out when my maintenance plan expired and then head back over to darkroomsupport.com and go to the downloads page we'll go ahead and do that just in case you skip forward um, and then I am going to find a release that came out before my software was released and we found that a little bit earlier and that was this version right here so I'll go ahead and download it and save file and I have already downloaded that file as well I have it right here so I'm going to go ahead and close the software. At this point, I am going to go to uh, in my search bar, or I can also click the Windows Start button. I'm going to type in Remove, and it should pull up Add Remove Programs. And I'm going to scroll down to Darkroom Boot. And I'm going to click uninstall. And when it asks me if I want to remove my license, I'm going to click no because I would like that to stay on the computer so I don't have to re enter it. What this is doing is it's removing the application. It's not removing your photos or your templates. Uh, everything will be there whenever you reinstall the older version. We're just removing the application. Okay, now that Darkroom's been removed, we're going to go ahead and we can minimize this. We're going to find that older build that came out right before maintenance plan expired. Double click on it and we're going to install it just like we would with the uh, like we did with for the update. Okay, and it has installed that, that older version. We will double click on Darkroom Booth and we should be back and up, up and running with all of our original, uh, all our templates that we had uh, and the photos that we had already installed before. Okay, you can see that all the events are still there. If I click on, I still have the content that I had already previously captured. So although we had hoped that you, everyone that would stay up to date, we understand that money might be tight at times. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you do decide to put off renewing your maintenance plan, make sure 
that you don't let it lapse after a year because uh, it's $95 to renew, but once it goes more than a year past, then you're looking at $195. So keep an eye and keep in the back of your head at least uh, that you need to renew within that year. Otherwise, the price does go up. I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has saved a little bit of time and some headaches and uh, a little bit of stress. I know upgrading and those type of things, if you're not real comfortable with it, it can be a little bit stressful. Um, but until next time, you guys take it easy. Hi, it's me again. If this video has been helpful, be sure to check out one of our other videos just like this one. And if we've earned it, please consider subscribing. This lets us know people are out there watching our videos and it's making their job and their life just a little bit easier. Please consider subscribing right over here.